hello guys welcome back so this is the second tutorial of jasper server so in the previous video like we discussed i'll be showing you how to publish a report from your jasper studio to jasper server so this will be a quick tutorial but before that well we need to have a report to publish from studio to server so we'll go with some basic things so to just create a report you need to have a data source available with you so i have a h2 database so this is free database and open source you can download from internet so i'm just going to click on i'm going to start my database yes it started in my browser so here you can see by default it has taken h2 local h2.tcp so whatever it is so i have a username and password for this i'm just going to connect yes i'm connected so here i have few folders so i'm going with invoice so select start from invoice or else i'll write right uh, something like select start from invoice where payment mode is equals to cash so i'll only go with the records which are having cash so still there are too many okay um, we'll go with something else anyhow this is fine or else we can go with product delivery which we have a less data or else let it be so you will have a multiple pages multiple pages available to publish so it looks very good in jasper server so we'll go with this query so i have this query with me now so everything is going to come so i'll create a simple report using this data so i'll go to my eclipse and first before creating the report i need to add a data adapters right so i'm going to create a data adapter and uh, a simple jdbc connection click next and i have to go with the credential what actually i have here so for now i'm going to save this at one place the query at save site and i'm going to log out of it and here is here you can see oracle org h2 dot driver so i'm going to go with the same things so driver name will be this and uh, my url will be this so if you're going with any other different uh, databases you will have its own jdbc driver and url just go with that so don't get confused i'm using h2 so i have to go with this thing right so intact will be my username and password test yes that means the connection is created successful so i'm going to save this with name h2 database okay just finish so i'm done with this now i'm going to simply copy my query and paste it in this data set Other fields so i have this many fields here but i'll just be picking only few fields for simple understanding okay so um, i have given the report name as test fit server so just click on project mm, not project just go with the outline so we can see there are fields generated here so i'll just select only five of this and just drag and paste it and the detail band one second let me see where is detail this is not detail this is detail band so just drag and drop this five fields and detail band so this is how it looks like so okay so i'm going to give a simple text field So I'm going to write a simple Jasper 
server example okay so I'm going to increase the size save it so it's asking do you want to publish this report in Jasper server so previously actually I have tested few reports so it's directly taking that server so I'm going to remove this I'll show you everything how to do step by step so I th the server is deleted now so when I save it won't ask again so I'm just going to check preview so that's it so it's working fine we have three pages of the data here so we need to publish the same report in our Jasper server right this is a simple report so I'm going to delete this and just click on preview that's it so so how to publish a report to Jasper server the first thing is we need to check whether Jasper server is installed in our PC or not so we have already done that in previous video so so this is our Jasper server so I'm going to log out of it yeah so this is our URL okay and username password so when you log in with this credential with this URL so you go to specific page right so we'll we need to create the Jasper server environment in our Jasper studio so that we can directly publish the report from studio to server so how to create the environment is just right click on your servers go to the repositories first you can see repository explorers to the left or else you can simply you can just see to the right corner report design if you don't find this you can click on this and you can see the report design here you can open from it from here also or else you can directly download it from the eclipse store say eclipse marketplace so when you click on this you can browse for Jasper uh, Jasper reports so it gets installed successfully and you can go with the process so right click on servers here create Jasper report server connection so we are going to create yes so it's asking for the URL so we know that the Jasper uh, HTTP localhost 8080 Jasper server is our uh, URL by default it takes this and just go with the username and password just don't worry about organization and all those things so username is jasper admin and password is same jasper admin and i'm just going to test the connection we'll see whether it's working or not it seems it's working fine so connection successful so I'm going to save this with a name so it by default you can see there is name Jasper report server so let it be by default so I'm going to save it with the same name that's it now once you have done with this setup you can see to the right here you have published report to Jasper report server so when you click on this so before directly before we publish we need to understand how Jasper server is how the uh, hierarchy or you can see the report the repository of Jasper server is so just go to your server click on login so to the left you can see there are this so many folders like analysis com analysis components content files data sources images jdbc reports and themes so in in upcoming videos we'll be discussing about all these things what are their functionalities and what are their uses but for now we'll just publish a report and reports so it is not compulsory that you have to publish a report in reports itself you can directly create a report you can directly create a folder here 
and say my reports and you can just say I will publish my new reports and this folder and just add the folder so you can see my reports folder has been created here so I'm going to publish my report from studio 2 server in this folder it's very simple than it looks like so I'm just going to click on this publish so when you click on publish what it what it does is this will connect to the server and get all the hierarchy of repository or you can say so just now we have created the my my reports folder so this has been created and this is your report name which is your test with server so I'm just going to click on publish so click on the drill down and just go to the place my reports so this will be your report name and this will be your report ID and this is by default taken so if you're trying to add something so you won't have any spaces or any other special characters rather than underscore so we'll just go with the default name so I'm going to remove this as well and this is my first report I'm publishing okay so just click on this check it and press next and there's one more thing I forgot to tell you guys that I have already created a data source connection so in next tutorials we'll be discussing how to create data source but here you can see when I click on data sources there is h2 database so this is which is which I already created this connection so I'll just open it to you guys and show you how I have done so we are into data sources So here you can see I haven't done anything uh, different here it's just asking for the JDBC driver and the URL and username and password so this was the same things which I've added to, to create the connection in studio you have you have to do the same thing here as well but in case if you don't have the driver listed in your JDBC driver in this place you need to add the driver or you can say jar file and simply you get you'll be showing this org h2 driver so don't get confused with that too much you can directly add it from here okay so i have already done this and i'll be showing you guys how to do this setup as well so just click on add driver and go with the setup so don't worry guys i'll be showing you how to do how to add a data source in your jasper server but for now I'm just showing you I have already added a data source so I'm just going to come out of it and here the name which I have given for this data source is h2 database so the same name you can see when I click when it's it was asking for data source so I'll just click on data source and click on browse search for h2 so here is my data data source click on this finish and just click on finish it's being published just a moment So it says the following resource were published on Jasper server. So my reports 
test with server okay so we'll just see whether the report has been published in our server or not so i'll just go here so we have to check in my reports so we can see test with server report test with server report has been published successfully so i have given here as name saying that this is my first report i'm publishing so just click on it so this is a simple report we haven't passed any parameters to it to perform the report dynamically but don't you worry guys i'll be explaining how to do that as well in future so we'll just see how the report is working the data so we were having three pages of data we'll see See actually this Jasper server will not work on this Jasper server won't work on uh, internet this works offline so we have an error message saying that there was an error on server try again to call that so we'll just try to troubleshoot what actually is happening so we'll just go to C drive so you can even check what was actually happening so Jasper servers okay so Apache, Apache Tomcat, Logs, and just go for Jasper Server. It was the wrong folder I have gone through. So it is Apache Tomcat, WebApps, Jasper Server, WebINF, and Logs. So just go in the Jasper server. Okay, this is too big. I'll just reduce the font size. And okay, so I'll will the exception will be at the bottom. Okay, so it says select star from invoice where payment type equal to cash. It says. ORG has to database JWC HP description saying invoice table invoice is not found. So we'll just check what's wrong in our Jasper server. So the report was working fine in our uh, studio, but the same report is not working fine in server. So I'll just go back. So we'll just check what wrong we have done. So Click on data sources, H2 database, press edit. So not installed, it says not installed. Okay, I need to add the driver in case. Sorry, I have mentioned F colon server test. I had I have not mentioned IA. So actually so F Jasper server DB and I have forgot to mention the DB name it's IA actually okay so we'll try to test this once the connection pass I'm going to save this the same name don't save so I'm going to click on my reports click on test with servers and uh, we'll see if the report works fine now yep so this is how it works guys so it works fine now so in future we'll be discussing more videos but in next video we'll be discussing more about how data source works, how to add a data source in your Jasper server and how to communicate your data source with your report. So we'll work on it. Okay. So thank you guys. Thank you for